Okay, we're ready for the, uh, the honor guard to escort our honorees in tonight. All of you may be seated, except for our honoring. I'm going to let Scott and State AARP uh, just talk a little bit about this project and what's going on across the Commonwealth uh, as we honor these uh, veterans to preserve their stories while they were um, fighting for our freedom. Scott. Well, now we'll be brief. But good evening, I'm Scott Wagonist. I'm the Communications Director with AARP Kentucky. We're based in Louisville. We are just thrilled to have been able to participate with this community project that Charlotte launched two years ago. Um, and a special big thanks to my, my good friend, Don Rose, a Marine Corps veteran who's not here tonight, but Don lives in Winchester. And Don is the guy who has made these interviews really come to life. And we're really grateful that you guys are willing to participate with us these stories were collected um, for the Library of Congress. Their Veterans History Project was designed to capture these stories and preserve them for future generations. So it's these guys' personal stories that are now part of the Library of Congress collection for, all, for posterity, for the next generation. And it's important that we do capture these stories and we are just absolutely delighted at ARP to be one of the founding organizations uh, for this deal. And uh, just, again, thank you all for allowing us. And as I've said repeatedly, I'm going to say it one more time. Ohio County has the most impressive Veterans History Museum I've seen across the state. And I have been all over the state. And yeah. And you've got a great spirit, too. Um, and we have had the uh, Wesley uh, Phelps Honor Guard up in uh, the Capitol and had him on the Senate floor, we had him on the House floor, we had him in the Governor's office. So we appreciate your guys' time, everyone's effort for participating in uh, these stories. We hope to come back uh, and capture some more of these. So Charlotte, that's really all I need to say, other than you can see some of the interviews right now on their YouTube page at ARP Kentucky on YouTube. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. The first one we're going to present is the one called Captain Lodge. He not only had one CD, he has three. It was a, a wonderful interview. And we have it recorded in the Library of Congress. There will be a copy given to our library as well. And, um, his daughter is here to accept it for him. And uh, let's give her a big hand. She has a lot of Thank you. 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 Jerry. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it's no? No. Okay. One time. I will share with you, Tech Connect at Beaver Dam did uh, copy these at no cost to us, so we need to give uh, that company a big hand. Thank you, Michael. The next one is uh, certainly a very special friend, Sam Patterson. He's also Mr. Senior King of Ohio County as well. Another dear friend that is not with us today, he's actually uh, in assisted living in Cincinnati and his family could not be here, is Tommy Jackson. 
and we will be getting this to Tommy Jackson. Another special friend that has roots here. He now lives in Frankfurt, and his son and daughter are both here. Uh, his son is with the University of Kentucky, and his daughter is a longtime friend, Gwen Carter Cobb. Uh, I worked with her in aging for years. And uh, Mr. Ellis Carter, some of y'all may remember his mom, Susie, uh, lived at Highway 69. So, Ellis Carter. <coughs> I have another friend that's from Fordsville. Um, my, oh, okay. Uh, my family goes back to Elijah Ford, who founded Fordsville in 1792. So I kind of have a real fond place in my heart for Fordsville. And this gentleman's name is Pete Hedden. And uh, Pete, we just appreciate you being here today, and and uh, we want to give this to you. is uh, a special man by the name of Emmett Perry. And you all might want to listen to his story. He got a Dear John letter when he was overseas. And it uh, seems like six years ago, these two special people who thought a lot of each other back when they were 16 and 17 years old were married six years ago. <laughs> okay, uh, Wesley O'Hanson could not be with us tonight. Uh, they just uh, put his wife in the nursing home this week, so we need to remember him. Okay. And last but not least is our judge executive, David Johnson. We were glad to get his interview. And David, thank you uh, for sharing those uh, words with us. If any of you have problems with these, let me know. Uh, we do have the original copy, so there's, uh, we may have had some technical difficulties in copying them, but we uh, certainly will make it right because we have the original. There should not be any problems at all. We will be doing this again in April. I actually had a call Saturday night from Nashville. A gentleman by the name of Butch Finn from here that was in Vietnam called and said he wants to be recorded in April. So we'll be doing this again if any of you would like to to be recorded, let me know, and uh, Mr. Scott will be back down, and we'll be doing this again, because we'd like to get all of you all on, on tape, and we just can't say enough, um, about three weeks ago, I stood at uh, the site of Flight 93, and the crash site, and you know, we know freedom is not free, and we appreciate all of you, let's give these folks a big <laughs> great um, program. I've had the honor and the privilege to work with the greatest generation for 30 years and haven't stopped yet. I was in Washington last week asking them not to let our seniors fall off the cliff in two weeks. And uh, so hopefully uh, I, I let the word be known that we're watching what happens up there. And uh, hopefully they'll keep that in mind. But uh, Judge, thank you and the fiscal court for allowing us to be here tonight and uh, we appreciate you all, and, and I think you're probably excited to be a part of it as well. So thank you again. Uh, I'll let the court get to their business. Yeah. And Charlotte, don't forget to take them out in the hall. Yeah, We've got a, uh, yeah. cupcakes and cookies. There's and a reception for you all. In the hall. Everybody, anybody wants to come out and rather yeah. not stay for the court meeting, come out here and have some cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have said that all yeah. night. Uh, yeah, go out the, uh, <laughs> Jerry, I baked on one of them. You did? Does anybody yeah. need another group picture? Well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> oh, out in the hall, we're going to do a group picture for the Times News, okay? This way. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. Really appreciate everything you've done.